Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're doing some more AP Physics questions. Um, so we are looking at momentum, conservation of momentum, impulse momentum, um, that kind of thing. So I encourage you to pause the video, try to do the problem yourself, and come back after you've attempted the problem. All right, so a 30 kilogram child moving at four meters per second jumps onto a 50 kilogram sled that is initially at rest on a long frictionless horizontal sheet of ice. Determine the speed of the child sled system after the child jumps onto the sled. So again, this is kind of a collision. It's an interaction between two objects. And initially the kid is running. He has a momentum of 30 kilograms times his velocity, four meters per second, or that's 120 kilograms meter per second okay so that's his momentum initially the sled has no momentum at the beginning because it's not moving then uh, so that's P before after they, they they they're stuck together now they have a total of 80 kilograms and times some velocity that we don't know that it what it is but we do know that the momentum has to be equal before and after because there's no outside forces so V would have to be um, 120 over 80, which would be uh, 43 halves. Yeah, 3 halves. 1.5 meters per second. Okay, so that's A. B, determine the kinetic energy of the child's sled system after the child jumps onto the sled. Well, their kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. The mass of the two together is 80 kilograms, and their velocity is 1.5 meters per second. And we square that. We get this is 90 joules. Okay, C. After coasting at constant speed for a short time, the child jumps off the sled in such a way that she is at rest with respect to the ice. Determine the speed of the sled after the child jumps off of it. So now the momentum's conserved, right? The momentum's still the same. It's still 120 kilogram meter per second momentum. But now it's all the sled, so it's 50 kilograms times V, because the child's no longer moving. So that tells me his velocity, or the sled's velocity, is 120 over 50. And uh, what's that? 2.4 meters per second? Okay. D. Determine the kinetic energy of the child's sled system when the child is at rest on the ice. So the child's not moving; he has no kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is only due to the sled, which is one half mv squared. Mass of the sled is 50 kilograms. Velocity is 2.4 meters per second squared. I get this is 144. Joules. Wait, I did the other one wrong then. Hmm. Okay, I did the math right. Compare the kinetic energies of determined parts B and D. If the energy is greater in D than it was in B, where did the increase come from? So the energy did go up. Um, well, the child imparted all of the... Well, that's a good question. The energy went up. I do all the math right? Uh -huh. 1.5 meters per second, 1.5 seconds squared times A. So the child's moving along and pushes off the sled in a way that now he's stopped and that accelerated the sled. Um, the energy came from the child imparting. He had to apply a force. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um, the energy came from the work done by the child. Cause the energy to increase.
Because the child had to exert a force for a time. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not totally convinced by that answer. Let me think. Yeah, I think it's the work done by the child. Okay, well, I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.